Yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome back to another video. You ever hate when you pair up with someone on Dueling Book? You just play like the biggest crybaby losers, like randos from recesses, idiots. I, I, I hate it. It's one of my pet peeves. And in today's video, I duel the biggest crybaby of all time. Gonna cry? We're gonna duel. We're gonna commentate this. So I'm gonna show you guys that no matter how big of a crybaby you might duel against, you will always, with the power of pendulums, defeat them so let's get straight into this video before we do though make sure to smash the subscribe button make sure to smash the like button also i got a brand new surprise on patreon the next seven videos on patreon are massive dual exclusives with some amazing tcg pendulum content so go check it out right now let's get it and this is my opponent mr loser dog well now i understand why you made your name that you guys will understand you might be thinking triff you're so rude bro you're so mean man why are you hurting his feelings bro you'll understand what i'm talking about when you like what you're about to witness like you're never gonna want to do something like this ever again in your life you're gonna see exactly what i mean when we get into this duel so he's playing thunder obviously that's the type of per person i'll play like you'll see what i mean when we get there and i'm playing I don't know. I'm playing my Ellis Synchro deck. I've been a second with the regional. Sadly, I opened Nibiru and Mourner, which are absolutely useless against this deck. So I just let him fr play freely. And yeah, the, like I can do nothing. I have two hand traps, but they're so bad against this deck. So I'm going to let him do his thing. And man, <laughs> when you guys see this, you're going to be like, Triff, bro. I understand why you were molding. This is actually the most insane duel. I drew Ash Return. It's fine. So you're going to go on to the next game here, and I draw absolutely insane. I draw e Telly right, Illusion, like this is insane. I, was a, I use e Telly early. I probably should have set up a Griffin before e Telly, but it didn't matter. So I'm going to keep summoning up monsters, and now you guys are going to witness the most insane thing. I want you guys to keep in mind, he has zero hand traps in hand, okay? So if you're a TCG duelist, just look at this. Watch the and you'll see what I mean. If you're a Master Duel player, you'll know what I mean. Look at this, okay? I like a madman. I draw Red Rose and e Telly. So he has no hand traps in his hand, okay? No hand traps up to this point we're all good you know we have like we're just playing normally you know there's no problem at all and you know i, I had foxy tune i just go through the motions here playing classic punk synchro i go chaos ruler i click the clear on chaos ruler and then my dear note target is foxy tune so i put foxy tune in the spell and trap zone you guys see that so i put foxy tune in the spell and trap zone now look at this he's like question mark wait what i'm like question mark can you like declare your effects or type them or something and I assume you're trying to summon on Foxy. I'm like, I literally click declare. I click declare on Chaos Ruler. And then right after I, I, I use Chaos Ruler's effect and click declare on it, I move my Deer Note target, which is Foxy Tune, to the Spell and Trap Zone, being very evident that I'm trying to summon this off of my card. He has no hand traps, by the way. He has no hand traps. He has no hand traps. You, you can't even do anything about it. Then he's like, uh, he's like, that's not how it works. He's a question mark. So you're just using Ruler? Okay. There's literally Foxy in the Spell and Trap Zone from Deer. That's not how you declare effects. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you like Randall from Recess? Like, what the what? What? Are you kidding? Like, I literally put Foxy Dude in the Spell and Trap Zone. Literally. Okay. And then he has no hand traps, too. Like, what? And then he's like, I'm like, okay, if you have a response, it's fine. I'll even let you, I'll even go back if you want. You could use your hand trap. My play is not changing. I'm declaring, I'm targeting Foxy Tune. I'm using Chaos Ruler. What's the problem? Then he's like, no, no, question. I'm like, I guarantee you that you have no hand traps, which I was literally correct. You just sat, you're just talking shit for no reason. Like, what do you mean? You didn't declare Foxy. I literally put, well, I, you're right. I didn't declare Foxy. I, de I used Deer Note. I targeted Foxy in my spawn trap zone. And then I'm like, that's actually so insane. But it didn't even matter because I have Red Rose Dragon in my hand. I'm like, this literally, like, we're complaining for nothing. Let him be Randall from Recess elsewhere. So what do I do? I tell him, you know what? I'm like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I won't even, if you don't, if, like, if you're going to be this much of a baby about it, that's fine. I'm going to shock you the rest of the duel. It's okay. Whatever. I even let him have it, despite the fact that I literally visibly put him in my spell and trap zone. And then what do I do? I'm like, it's fine. I'm just going to normal Red Rose. I full combo. Who cares? Let him cry to himself. And then I'm like, so what's the issue? I call, and then I call him a loser because he's literally being a biggest loser ever. And then he keeps the judge call because I heard his feelings calling him a loser. Are you like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And then the judge comes and then I'm like, I explain the whole situation to the judge. I tell the judge, he literally has no hand traps and is shocking me for no reason. I literally put my target in the spell and trap zone that I summon off Deer No. I explained the whole chain link. And the judge is like, okay. 
I w if I came, I would have said that's very evident that you're trying to summon that as tier link too. His name is literally Loser Dog, by the way. And then he's like, yeah, but he also was calling me names. I'm like, your name is literally Loser Dog. I called you Loser. For one, because you are. For two, your literally name is Loser Dog. And look, well, to be honest, if I'd have this happen to judge in this exact situation, I would have seen Foxy Tune was in the spell and trap zone as a declaration of deer. I mean, I get the declare button could have been used. And for the future, please do so so it's it's clear. I mean, it's very clear. I see you continue from here and came to came to an agreement. We did come to an agreement. And I'm literally like, I still don't understand the issue here. I literally told him it's like, anyways. So that's all happened. At this point, I'm like, that's it. I'm going to destroy this guy. That's like, I'm going to obliterate him. This guy has no hand traps and he's trying to do that issue. I'm going to destroy this loser. That's it. By the way, if you guys want to subscribe to Loser Dog, his link is in the description. Because guess what? Guess what? I might be angry that he was playing like a loser recess, random from recess. But guess what? I'm still going to obliterate him. I'm still going to obliterate him. No matter what. I look open, open my hand. Not the best hand in the planet. But it's okay. Now, this is where... This is where... This is where it gets crazy. This is where it gets really crazy. This is where it gets actually insane. Okay? So I want you guys to pay close attention to this. So remember the, the shark move that he just did on us. Okay? Don't forget that. Remember the shark move we just did? Where we made it very evident that that was our play. Where we literally put the card in the spell and trap zone as a very, very clear indication of chain link 2. Guys, this is not a YCS finals. This is a dueling book. I literally put the card in spell and trap zone. Just remember that, okay? It's going to come up later. So I go curse Elan. Oh, by the way, Elan just putting in work in this punch synchro deck. It's insane. I use Duster. He's going to solve him the Duster. I use Golden Lord here to hit that. I could have potentially hit M Pen, but the issue with that is that my plays will not resolve. I was not expecting him to add Avion. I really thought he was going to go for Ryza, uh, but it's fine. I'm going to go normal Zayamin. Ash, I'm like, it's fine. Okay, we put this scenario. I have two Golden Lands set. It's not over yet. The duel's not over yet. We're in a very tough position. He has spent three minutes to summon one Eaglin. And I'm like, bro, you have to play faster. This is insane. Like, you're telling me. Like, I put Deer Note in the Spell Trap Zone, Foxy Tune, and you're gonna, like, three minutes. I'm like, he's like, yeah, you got somewhere to be? I'm like, yeah, a date with a real girl, something you, you don't really know what it is. But anyways, so we're gonna summon, and uh, I'm like, bro, hurry. And then here where it gets hilarious. He, you want Eaglin? He just added Street to hand. He did not declare anything. He didn't declare any. He didn't declare Eaglin or Street. So I'm like, judge, judge. Judge, karma, karma, karma. He did not declare any of them. So I'm like, whoa, hold your horses there, buddy. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. I didn't let him do it. And then we continue. I'm like, guys, this karma's real. And then I set up double golden land. Karma's real, baby. He didn't declare it. Karma is real. I would have never done that. I would have been like, yeah, it's fine. Like, this is very obvious what you're trying to do here. But if you're going to random recess me in the dueling book of all places, I'm going to shark you for everything. And on top of that, he took three minutes to summon an Eaglin. This guy, I know he's a YouTube channel, but it's definitely not about how good of a duelist he is because that's insane. Multiple misplays. Anyway, we're going to go Chris L on here to add Conquistador. We're going to use Foxy Tune. Let's go. Chaos Ruler Effect. We're going to keep going here. Now, it looks like... We're in a great situation. We're trying to mill Enchantress right now. We're trying to mill Enchantress. We get Magician Souls here. But that's the ruling. And guess what? Now he's going to get absolutely destroyed. And the most beautiful feeling in the world. You're dueling against someone that's... Did you see that? What a Flunder player. How many summons was that? Bro. You have no to beer in your hand, bro. I'm already 19 summons in. Oh my goodness. I'm sick. Anyways, the greatest feeling ever is when you duel a person that's been very rude who's been a crybaby and you whoop their ass what an amazing feeling and then after that after that after that i'm like you know what i want to squash the beef i want to squash the beef with loser dog you know we had a whole this is a crazy battle this is like alexander the great over here versus like an ant unreal battle over here but i'm like you know what i won the duel i won the duel so it's okay let's squash the beef Let's squash the beef. It's okay. You know, the duel's over. We got heated. It's all good. So I tell them, I'm like, I'm like, yo, you got Discord? Come online. Let's let's squash the beef. It's all good. Yeah, then he says, I have no mic. He literally has a YouTube channel. Which you guys should go subscribe to right now. How do you have a YouTube channel without a mic? Anyways, I see Loser Dog offered a rematch. And I accept all challenges. I will never not accepted so we continue game number one over here i go right over here and now we're gonna go on to the next match 
We're gonna go on to the next match. Uh, here he goes dimension shifter. This really hurts me because I was prepared to normal summon Ash Blossom and a full combo Red Rose Dragon. But because he shifted, I, I made the executive decision to keep Ash Blossom in my hand. He's going to go. He book of moons the Griffin. I opt to keep the Griffin on the field because this means now that uh, I'm able to uh, have two monsters. It's tough for this deck to actually destroy monsters. So if he summons an Ampan, he just destroys one of them. I save the other. In classic Flunder fashion, he really only has one play, and that's Robina. He goes Prosperity, add Robina. Guess what? Guess what, buddy? Guess what? Good thing I didn't summon that normal. Good thing I didn't normal summon that Ash Blossom. Robina, Ash, pass. Classic Flunder. Draw e -telly. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Tell me a better feeling than 3 0 a shit talker. The greatest. Then I tell him, he says I record on my phone. I'm like, Discord, there's a Discord app on the phone. Anyways, we just left it. And I look at my hand, my hand's insane. My hand's like actually busted. Like this hand is literally clear with no hand traps. I'm clearing through a full flunder board with no hand traps. Like with no hand traps, I'm clearing through it. And I'm going to do a lot of genius plays, which I want you guys to see. I would have no mic too if I was clapped that hard. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so here. He summons out a lot of stuff. He has Solemn Judgment. He has his trap. Look at my hand, bro. My hand's insane. This is what I'm telling you. Elich, in a, if you guys are questioning maybe playing Elich in a Synchro Punk Synchro deck, this has to, like, do it for you guys. You're going to see how much work this puts in. He uses map. I do not agree. I'm sorry. Quick ad advent. I do not agree with this advent. I think that was a horrible advent. I think he should have kept it set because now if I had Cosmic or Twin in draw phase, it'll affect the trap uh, that he had because I could have easily done in draw phase or standby. But that's fine. When you draw a hand like this, it's unbeatable. So I draw Magician Souls for absurd. Okay, so now in this scenario, I think a little bit. I'm like, okay, what am I going to do here? I could Cosmic, hope to hit the thing in, in standby. But I have a better idea. I go straight to main phase and I quickly send Banshee. The reason I send Banshee is I want hit if in, just in case he has the Harpy's Trap card. The only card to stop this broken hand is Harpy's Trap card. I would love the value of a Rite of Aramis here and Enchantress, but the only way you're losing is just the Harpy's Trap card. So I'm going to keep this Banshee in the graveyard, and when I attempt a monster effect later and he's chains the Harpy Trap, I'm going to chain Banshee to make sure that no matter what happens this duel, I'm going to have a Lich cards, and I'm going to have a Zombie World on the field. So that is my goal here. Now I continue playing. I go Chris L Land. And I really want to 4-0 this guy. I really want to 4-0 him. Like, no, nothing's better. Like, imagine 4 owing someone than squashing the beef. There's not many greater feelings in the world than that. So I go Effect of Golden Lord, sending Scarlet, targeting one of the cards. Sorry, I target Barrier Statue. Was it? Yeah, I target Barrier Statue. On res, on res, he activates map. I'm like, fantastic. Fantastic. He did this on res. Great. So Golden Lord's gone. And now, uh, sorry, Barrier Statue's gone. And now he goes this. So instantly, I'm like, let me think a little. I chain Cosmic to get rid of the other one because I do not want him to... I, I have to bring up Banshee now. So I Cosmic the other one in case it's a Harpy's Trap. He'll use the Harpy Trap and then I chain Banshee and then we're four fine. We're totally, honestly, totally fine. Copium. So then it's Solemn Judgment. See you later. And then now he's cooked. Now he's absolutely cooked. Chain Banshee, put up Zombie World. He has no play now. He has no plan. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. He banishes the Lord. I'm like, I don't care. I only play one one Lord, but I don't care. Look at my hand, bro. Souls. Scarlet effect. Draw two. <laughs> like, Elich. Like, this is all because of Elich. I'm not even capping. This is all Elich. Everything I did to this point was Elich. I haven't even touched my synchro plays. I got rid of a Solemn Judgment. I got rid of a map. I got rid of a Barrier Statue. He has zero play here. Now, at this point, I win the duel automatically. Zombie World obliterates this deck. So uh, one issue with this deck, though, is that uh, the only way to out M-Pen is basically with Lynx or Synchro, Bear, and stuff like that. So I do one slight error. I'm going to show you guys right now. I go e -Telly. I use this to add. Now, what I should have done... Okay, so I go Foxy. I'm going to show you a little bit now. In uh, fact, I bring out uh, Deer Note. I go Chaos Ruler. At some point in this combo, I'm really just trying to mill Enchantress, to be honest, because milling Enchantress, I just Draco back this and just win. I should have attacked some of these a little earlier at some point. I don't even know if this is considered a misplay or not. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I mean. Maybe I should have put... Fo like I'm going to show you right now. So I put these into dark. I think I should have put... Fo like what, Here's what I should have done. Right here. Right here. This was the play. I had to put Foxy Tune in attack position. And I had to put Chaos Ruler in attack position. This was the play. And I had to enter battle and attack three of them. That's what I had to do. 
I have to enter battle and I have to attack the three level ones. Okay, that's what I should have done. Because now, as you see, like you don't want them to have level ones because they're just going to Zeus. So it's a slight mishap there. So I go use the effect here to mill. I do not mill anything crazy. So I just mill Griffin. And this is where I see the line where I just normal summon Ash, go into Baron in defense. I'm gonna pop this, but as you see, now it's tough to actually clear monsters. And if I go into Axis Code, he's still left with one level one. And I know he has Rabina Avion in hand. My other line would have popped three of the funders. And then if three of the funders were popped at this point by entering battle, I would have won easily because I just go access code and pop the rest. So that was the line where I should have done. I should have entered battle first. It's okay though. We're still going to win the duel, obviously. And I could have uh, made Baron and uh, Zombie Vampire into Dagda. I could have. I can't make Selene because Zombie World. I could have made access code. Access code pop two of them. If you level Rabina, normal summon Rabina and still make Zeus. So we, we, we did not allow that, but we're still put in a position where we still win no matter what. So we still set this whole setup. So his play right now in this setup is, so his play is go into uh, the rank one, go into Zeus, and then we uh, negate Zeus. The whole board is still cleared, but he's going to have zero follow-up. His level, uh, zero follow-up whatsoever. He can't do any thunder effects for us this turn. And I'm going to have a, so when Scarlet gets into the graveyard, I'm going to send him out Conquistador. I'm going to have three monsters to play with. I'm going to have Chaos Ruler. I'm going to have DD Crow to normal summon. I'm going to have uh, uh, Conquistador. So that's going to be three cards. And any monster I draw, I keep Chaos Ruler in the field. I make Selene with DD Crow, with Caro, and any monster I draw. So I'm guaranteed winning anyways. So I guarantee I have access code Chaos Ruler. So in this line, I still win. Uh, he uses map. He's going to summon out some monsters. This is fine. He goes into Nightmare Phoenix, targeting Zombie World. At this point, you're left with a choice. You know you has a you know he has Apex Avion. Okay, so the line here, I let him. If I don't let him destroy Zombie, if I let's say I Baron negate Phoenix, he just goes into the, uh, Zeus for four, and he has a Zeus on my turn. That's not what we want. So I let him destroy the Zombie World, knowing that if he tributes Avion, does not matter. He cannot even trigger the effects of anything else. And we're in a good scenario. So his next play, is he going to go into Underworld Goddess, get rid of the Baron? Literally doesn't matter. Underworld Goddess, attack this. Literally doesn't matter. Draw. Draw Enchantress. Enchantress did not matter. Enchantress did not matter. Literally, like, it did not matter whatsoever. We literally just win regardless of what it is. Because we just lean access code win. So it just doesn't matter. And we have Chaos Ruler. So it didn't matter. But this just was the icing on the cake to defeat the biggest hater of all time. And we go Faithful Adventure. We just set up everything. At this point, it's GG. There's nothing that could be done. And then he says, think. I'm like, bro, bro, what are you thinking for? I literally know everything in your hand. You have no answer. And then for the extra BM, we're going to draw a few extra times just for fun. Because why not? i draw, draw Double Ogre just for shits and gigs. Attack for 10,000. Loser destroyed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 4 0. -oh. That's what I'm talking about. At this, and I told him. At first, I thought you were a total doucher. Shout out to uh, Step Brothers. But then I realized you were still a doucher. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He, he was not. I like to tell Loser Dog, you know, it's all good. We have squashed our beef. We have squashed our beef. Uh, I And go check him out on YouTube. Oh, well, we still obliterated him. And that's what happens, guys. So don't be a Randall from Recess on Dueling Book. This is not a YCS. I understand not allowing your opponent to have serious takebacks. But for what he did, that was unreal. So yeah, just don't do that. Loser dog, when you when you see this, let's not do that moving forward, bro. Come on, you know, just dueling book. Uh, I understand if there's an actual misplay take back, I understand. But like for that scenario, come on, like we both agree. Then the last we squash the beef, and that's that. I'll let Synchro second best Dr. Pendulum. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, guys. Check out the Patreon. Literally, the whole month I'm pushing Patreon hard. Patreon's gonna be insane. I, I said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Yu -Gi uh, the YouTube is going to be for sick videos. The Patreon is for literally pendulum training, bro. Pendulum training every single day on the Patreon. So you guys are pendulum lovers and are wondering why the heck is there no more uh, pendulums on the channel? Bro, go check out Patreon. It's going to be amazing. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.